Hello everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech video and in this one we're gonna dive into how you can enable voice messages on your Apple Watch. This process is pretty straightforward so I'm gonna walk you through the steps, let's begin. Now there are like two types of things you might mean, there is dictation, there is also voice messages, but at first let's begin with the dictation so in case you want to enable it you need to open up the settings app on your apple watch and navigate to the general section and in there when you scroll down a bit you should find the dictation option so tap on it to switch it on enabling dictation allows apple to process your voice input and essentially convert it to text so this can be considered to be a voice message, even though it is sent as a regular text, but it is using your voice. So this is the first option and you have to enable it in the settings where you enable dictation. However, there is also another thing, which is like the actual voice messages, which you can send directly from the watch. And this doesn't need to be enabled. You just need to start using it the way that it should be. So if you open up the messages app on your Apple watch and go to any chat, any conversation, you should be able to find the text field where you can tap and type in the text. But next to it, you should be able to find the app store icon, which looks exactly like I say. So it is like the little A icon. And when you click on it, then look for the sound wave icon. This will allow you to send messages using your voice, but they won't be transcribed into text. You will actually send them as a voice message. So this is something which you can start using right away and you don't really need in to enable it in any major way. So this is something that you might be interested in. So uh, yeah, you can start using that. Also, if there are any third party messaging apps available on your watch, you can go ahead and just start using it but there are many options which have a specific dedicated messaging app on the watch so you will probably need to default back to the built-in one i hope you found this video helpful if you did make sure to hit the thumbs up but subscribe to fox tech below and i'll see you guys later in the future as well